Hello viewers, you are watching Bureaucrat 1 video. Today's topic is National Mineral Policy of 2019. It's a policy to address the issue of transparency, regulation, sustainability, societal growth and people affected by mining process. Minerals are a shared inheritance of the entire nation and the state is the trustee of these minerals. National Mineral Policy is studied under 8 heads. The heads are Industry Status, Right to First Refusal, Private Sector, Transportation, Funding, Export and Import, Intergenerational Equity, Regulation. Industry Status Currently, Indian mining industry is dominated by public sector mainly due to the investment heavy nature of mining industry. The government wants private sector as well to in invest in mining industries. One is asking the private sector to acquire the mineral assets in foreign countries. One example is Adani buying coal fields in Australia. Right to first refusal. Earlier, after a firm finds the evidence of mineral in a particular location, government takes over it and auctions it. Whoever bids it the lowest cost for the mining project gets the mining project. Now the firm gets the right to first refusal. That is the firm which found the mineral has given a choice to match the bid of the lowest bidder. Private sector. It's a privatization of reserved mining areas given to public sector enterprises. It's done through auction. This helps government increase taxes levy new licenses and increase royalty rates that is on par with global benchmarks. Transportation or logistics is the lifeline of mining industry. India has one of the costliest and inefficient logistics system among the developing countries. Considering that we are also exploring the coastal waterways and inland shipping which is cheaper and faster than the traditional roadways and railways. And also dedicated mineral corridor, corridor also helps in increasing the efficiency of logistics. District Mineral Fund is established in every district that is affected by mining. The fund is contributed by the miners. The fund is channeled through Pradhan Mandri Kanji Shetra Kalyan Yojana for the welfare of people affected by mining. Export Import Policy It's a policy to stabilize the price and supply of minerals. It incentivizes mi miners to invest in mining activity. Intergenerational equity is a fancy term for sustainable development. Regulation of mining industry under new mining policy is IT enabled. It's a part of e-governance system. It creates awareness campaigns through its online public portal which helps in the efficient mining process and regulation of mining process and also it helps in social audit of mining process. Thank you.